Welcome to Anki USA product support how to video series. Today we'll show you how to do a firmware update via USB using our TX and our 609 receiver. What you will need is, of course, a receiver, your own personal PC, and of course, a USB. So let's begin. Before you start, please make sure to set HDMI control RIHD setting to off. Turn off the control device connected VI Ethernet cable. Turn off Zone 2. Stop playback and content from the internet, radio, iPod, iPhone, or USB, or even the server. While performing an update, please do not touch any cable or devices connected to the AV receiver during the update process. Attempt to access the AV receiver from your PC while it is being updated. Shut down the AV receiver while it's being updated. These are the procedures that you will need to follow. Connect a USB device to your PC. If there is any data on the USB device, remove it first. Go to OnCureUSA.com, place the mouse over products, and select receivers. On this page, you would select the model number of your receiver. Scroll down and select Downloads. Select Firmware Update USB Download. This will prompt you to save the zip file in the desired location. Select Computer, then save it to your USB disk. Once you have saved the zip file on your USB device, right-click the file and extract here. Once you have extracted the zip files, remove the zip folder. Once you have copied the file to the USB, remove the USB device from the PC and connect it to the USB port on the AV receiver. Select the USB input source and now initializing will display on the front display. Then the name of the USB device will appear. It will take up to 20 to 30 seconds to recognize the USB device. To access the setup menu by remote, press the receiver followed by the setup button or press the setup button on the front panel of the receiver. The setup menu will be displayed on the TV. Select hardware setup and then press enter. Select firmware update and then press enter. Select VI USB and then press enter. Select update and then press enter. The update process will begin. During the update process, the on-screen display will disappear during the update program. When this occurs, you can still view the update process on the front display of the AV receiver. The on-screen display will reappear after the update is completed and upon turning on the AV receiver off and on again. The message complete appears on the front display of the AV receiver indicating that the update process has been completed. Turn the receiver off and on again, disconnect the USB, and you are done. Congratulations, you have installed the latest firmware update on the AV receiver. Thank you for watching.